New, 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 new. That's our new song that we just say new a bunch of times. It's new products. We yeah, have go for it. Uh, we have some fun stuff today. Not not like crazy like yes. Last week was insane. This week we're gonna take it chill. Let's roll in with some headers. Okay, Let's get headers. These are short headers. We have these for the feather uh, headers. We have a, a special pack. But if you would like to use these in general for your projects, we have a five pack of I think like. 36 or 40 pins. And these are a little bit shorter than normal headers. So I thought maybe I'd show this on the overhead. Yeah, sure. Actually, hold on. I'm going to grab from over here. I'm going to grab maybe some okay. female header. I'll just keep showing. Yeah, just, just so hang those out. are these headers. Okay. So, hey. Okay, I'm back. So this is a normal header. So let me. Uh, Zoom in. Okay, so this is a normal header, and the body is, I think, like 8.5 millimeters high, uh, maybe 8 millimeters, and this one is about 3 millimeters. I think this is 8, and this is 5, so it's it's not half, but it's close to half as tall. And if you ever really need um, something to be very close together, um, this is your this is what you'll, you'd use. I don't know if they get any shorter than this, but I'm getting maybe some Swiss pins, and those are pretty short as well. But um, these are inexpensive in comparison. They're basically just like these normal headers, but they're extra short. And with these, we also have the um, short male headers as well. So when you plug these together, they, um, they sit perfectly in and they're exactly the right height. Um, you can use normal header if you like, but I mean, you can really see like the, this is significantly um, longer. So if you try to plug these headers into a female header, Oh, it's because um, it's not in a PCB. It would stick up about this much, like as it would hit the bottom of the PCB. Like if you you can see, it goes through. So you would actually end up being like this. So you'd get like about a millimeter or so gap, which maybe you don't like. You want it to be extra short. So there you go, short headers, and you don't have to clip them. They just plug in and they they work perfectly. So these are these are very handy if you have a your development board and you want it to be very low profile. Hey, give it another tenth of an inch. Okay, and then do you want to uh, show the other ones? Yeah, that's just the, it's just the photo of the okay. other one. So yeah, these are the short okay. uh, male headers, and yeah, they have the short female okay. headers. Okay, all right, I mean, Next up. handy. Relay. This is a, a relay shield thingy for the particle photon, a particle core. It'll probably work with the electron as well, although I don't have an electron to test it with. Um, you can switch, I think it's up to 10 amps and up to 250 volts DC or AC, so basically mains power. Be very, 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 very careful, of course. Um, I made a cord here by slicing an extension cable in half so you can plug in um, the, two, uh, um, the two wires into the normally open and common. And then there's a little red LED. It's shining off of the relay. It looks like the relay is lit, lit up. It's actually an LED right below it that will let you know when the relay is activated. So um, if you want to remote control mains, action, uh, uh, mains powered stuff, or even if you just want to have isolation for something that you're con controlling. Um, for example, here's a, a lamp, you know, you plug into the extension cord, you can turn the lamp on and off. Um, you can, you know, control appliances or, or power tools or, or I don't know, anything that plugs into the wall, really, your television. Um, and you can do it over the internet using the particle cloud. So I think this is a handy tool, just of course, uh, I want to remind you, we don't carry a lot of relay products on purpose, so be careful when um, using these, use a lot of caution. Very easy to uh, accidentally brush your hand against it and get a little bit of a jolt. Don't do that. Okay. Next up, the star of the show, besides you, tonight is one of these. Products. Yeah, we have, um, this is kind of a respin of the uh, at Wink 1500 boards that we have made before, but the previous version had onboard antenna. This version, the module itself has a UFL connector instead, and so you can connect and antenna. Okay. Go to the next. Yeah. Yeah. So the um, the there's no onboard antenna. You can't use it as is. You have to get an antenna. You can use one of these small antennas or a gigantic stick antenna or a cantenna or a t apparently if you get expert class or uh, uh, I think expert class um, ham radio license, you can do like 50 watts or something. I don't know, ridiculous. You, you can do it on 2.4 gigahertz. Anyways, you can connect functional antenna. It might be handy if you have a box and you want to have the antenna on the outside. So you would have a UFL to SMA adapter and then you'd, you'd panel mount the um, antenna on the outside. It, it, basically, it's exactly the same firmware, the same code, same everything, just the antenna is slightly different. 
However, uh, the FCC ID is matched to a, a 2 dBi antenna. So if you don't, if you're selling this product and you're using a different antenna, you may need to have some recertifications done. I don't know the details of that. Of, of you know, can you show that it's the same DBI as the antenna? Like what what specifically it is? But there is an antenna. I think that microchip um, manufacturers that is the one that's used with this module. And um, check the data sheet. They have a, a list of of which antenna it was used for FCC certification for this module. Um, but other than that, like if you're using it for hobbyist uses, you don't have to worry about that too much. And this yeah. is a great little module, has SSL, you can upload certificates to it. Works okay. perfect with the Arduino Zero, and uh, works pretty well with the Arduino Uno as well. All right, but wait, there's more. No, wait, there's more. We also have this um, update of a, a new version of the Feather at Wink M0 with um, the Wi-Fi module. So this is a Wi-Fi Feather M0. So you get a Cortex M0 processor for 48 megahertz. It's got like 10 analog digital converters, um, tons of interrupts, tons of timers, PWMs, I squared C, hardware, circoms. You can have like five I squared C ports if you, for some reason, wanted five individual I squared C ports or UARTs or whatever. Um, really awesome processor. Paired it with the Atwink, which is na the code for it was natively written for this processor. So like they work really, really well. And this is extremely fast, um, really good quality Wi-Fi uh, plus chip. Pair. It's actually what I use for this on-air sign. I mean, it, it's been running now for a week, and I haven't, I haven't paracycled it. It's just been sitting here, and it just turns on and off, whatever. It's very um, reliable uh, in its functionality. Um, a big upgrade to um, other uh, Wi-Fi modules we've used, especially with the SSL built in, and it works like flawlessly. Every time I need to connect to um, an SSL server, it just works. All righty. Oh, yeah. You also need an antenna for this, of course. Yeah. So watch that. It doesn't come with one. So people talk about the Internet of Things, but you're building the Internet of Things. This is, this is it. We were on air. I don't know if people know that. Yeah. We this is, and we uh, did a video about this And we were project. on air doing an on-air sign. It was very meta. Yeah. Okay. And with that, that is the new products, Lady Ada. Yay. Good work. Thanks. That was some fun news. Yeah. We'll have some more news next yep. week.